Why, hello, hello everyone. So this video is going to be my June favorites or all of my favorite items from the month of June. And so let's not dilly-dally with an intro and let's just get into it. My first kind of like category of things I've been really loving is beauty and the first item is this lip gloss. It is a baby lips moisturizing lip gloss and my mom and I went to Target and I was perusing the Maybelline section looking if they have come out with any new baby lips lip balms and I found this. I was in awe, okay, because I knew they had like the baby pore stuff, but I didn't know they came out with a lip gloss, and it smells so good and it moisturizes for such a long time. It's definitely a step up from the lip balm if you don't want as much pigmentation and if you want something that's really long lasting. The next item I have here is the Neutrogena Mineral Shears eyeshadow duo and this is in pebble or number 50 and I really like using the bottom color as a highlight like in the inner corners of my eyes and down the bridge of my nose or on my cupid's bow and those are just basically the only places I put it unless I'm feeling adventurous and it just works so well and it gives you such a fresh dewy kind of look to your makeup and it's awesome and then I have my very loved Neutrogena Skin Clearing Concealer. I have no idea if this actually does what it says it does, which is using micro clear technology to not only cover up your acne, but also get rid of it while you're covering it. And I got this because I have a Revlon concealer that doesn't work well at all and it doesn't even match my skin tone. And this one's a few shades lighter than my face, which I picked that up purposely. So if it didn't work very well as a concealer, I could just use it to brighten up my under eye area, which it works amazingly for. And it doesn't really cover acne very well, but it does a better job than my Revlon one, which is all I really wanted. And this item has been in at least one of my favorites videos before, and it is my Body Shop White Eyeliner. I lost this last year, and I couldn't find it, and then I stopped looking, and then I finally found it, and I felt in love all over again. It's just any white eyeliner. There's nothing really special about this one. And I really like the way it looks when you put it underneath your eyes and your lower lash line. And it's just gorgeous. Next item is kind of skincare. And it is toner. I have these Neutrogena toners. And the one I've used completely up is a Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight and Fade toner. So this supposedly fights acne while fading acne scars and this is acne stress control triple action toner so it treats acne before it even emerges and eliminates oil and shine while refreshing and soothing your skin and I have no idea if they work but it has become a part of my morning and nightly routine that I enjoy so it's favorite next item dry shampoo okay I've always wanted dry shampoo but I never really understood the complete hype of it. I knew I wanted it and I knew what it did which was really cool but I didn't know why I wanted it exactly because I shower every night anyways but I've been going on a lot of road trips this month and if you're in a confined space for too long well as I do I start to feel really like uncomfortable and kind of unclean and unsanitary and so if you go to a gas station for a pit stop or whatever and you just step out of the car and you spray this in your hair you feel a little cleaner which is pretty awesome and I'm going to camp in a couple of weeks so I will be packing that in case I don't get to shower. Another hair product I've been in love with this Argan Oil deep conditioning hair mask. I've only used it once, but there was such a big difference in my hair after using it. My hair is totally dead because I straighten it all the time and everything. And it made my hair so soft. And when you're pampering your hair, I guess you're not really supposed to do it a lot because then your hair gets used to it. But I'm planning on using it once a week because it's so good. Final item is this Mentha Supreme 2X lip gloss chapstick in a tube thing from Bath and Body Works and it's not this one specifically exactly it's just kind of the general range of any really minty lip balms because they make you feel like you have the freshest breath ever and you don't even need to chew gum even though 
you probably still need to if you have bad breath but it's just so awesome and it tastes good like I'm not eating it but if you lick your lips a little it tastes super good for food favorites I have two grapes because I've been trying to eat healthier and grapes kind of have like a natural sugar in them and so it's kind of like eating a sweet it's not exactly chocolate unfortunately but it is healthier I guess and yogurt because sometimes I trick myself into thinking I'm eating ice cream. For entertainment purposes, my number one favorite has been Friends. I started this end of May, beginning of June, and I finished it. I'm so upset that I finished it. The last episode killed me. But yeah, I've been watching Friends, and it's really good, so if you haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. Another kind of entertainment favorite has been DIYs. I don't really go, I didn't do any big DIYs, go to Michael's and buy some wood and make a bed. But I did purchase some streamers from Target and I hung them up around my room, which isn't really a DIY because they're already streamers. But it made my room look really cute and I also took some Polaroid pictures and hung it on a string, which is like the most generic DIY ever, but it was super fun and really entertaining. I have been reading a bunch of books in the summer so far, the first of which being House of Hades. I got this when it first came out. Well, my sister bought it for me as a gift at Walmart, apparently. Uh, and I've been really into the Heroes of Olympus series. It's not as good as the Percy Jackson series, but it's still pretty good since it's like basically the same thing, but not. And I was just rereading this one because I basically read it once and then just put it on a shelf. And usually with the Percy Jackson books at least, I would read them a couple of times before I put them away because I like them. But this one I didn't and so I just reread it and it was super good again. And then my next book is a really little kid book, okay? But you know, in summer when you're super bored, you don't want to go on your phone necessarily or on the internet at all, and you just want something super easy to read so you're you're still reading, but it's not like you're learning anything from it. Yeah, well I just go back and reread some of my favorite book series and things as a child. Like in elementary school, I was really into the My Sister the Vampire series or the Pandora book series. And so I'd reread those and I found this book in the basement and I remember loving it. And it's still a good book, it's just super easy, but it's the Wide Awake Princess. So if you are in the lower grade, not lower grade levels, but like if you're in elementary school to early middle school and you're looking for something entertainment wise to read I would recommend this book if you're into fairy tales and stuff but kind of adventure stories too I wouldn't recommend it if you're upper middle school like seventh or eighth grade into high school even though I, I just read it but I'm rereading it from the elementary school days and it's not that you shouldn't read it if you're in those grades. I mean, if you want to, if you just want like to joy read for the purpose of a storyline as if you're watching a movie and you don't want to actually gain any knowledge from it or increase your reading level. And you're just bored and you want something super easy to breeze through, then sure, pick this up. And my final favorite thing of last month, I guess. Oh, do I keep saying this month? have been sticky notes. I have sticky notes everywhere and I've been primarily using them to mark in my books because I have to do summer reading assignments for my advanced English class and you have to kind of find a similar theme throughout a couple of the books that you're assigned and the one that everyone has to read is My Antonia. I'm not very far in it and I'm sorry. Post-it notes or sticky notes have been really helping me organize everything and I have a notebook and since I've numbered them when I'm going through and actually making the project I can just be like okay uh, I want a quote to show a metaphor and so I'll go into my notebook and I'll go into my Antonia and I'll look at all of the numbers and I'll have what they are next to them metaphor personification or like 
foreshadowing and if I find one that works for the situation I will just go to the numbered post-it note and use that which is really handy so you can use that for post-it notes too. So that is it for this video. I'm sorry if it was super boring, but this is genuinely everything I loved in June, so I'm not a very exciting person, I guess. But if you actually did like it, please give this video a thumbs up. 